Hey everyone, Lance Danger here. I just wanted to do this uh, video progress of Inktober Day 1. What I'm doing is that instead of doing like the prompts that are coming out for Inktober per se, what I'm doing is my own little twist like I usually do. Um, for this attempt, I am doing Inditober. And what Inditober entails is that I'm going to take different independent comic book characters and do that instead of like the prompts or doing maybe like more mainstream characters and whatnot. Um, indie comics has always been a pretty important part of me. I love indie comics. I grew up reading indie comics alongside with the mainstream stuff. So... We've always kind of been back and forth between the two. Like, I can read a Marvel or a DC comic one day, and I could be reading a Caliber Press or an Image comic the other day, or, like, very indie, indie stuff like zine comics that are, like, the mini comics that people print from their own home printers and whatnot. And there's a lot of great value to that. Like, it's... It's like those kind of comics are like punk rock to me. You know, it really does push boundaries and challenges you sometimes. And other times they just are plain fun. And for day one, in this video, I am illustrating The Crow. Uh, if you follow me on my social medias like Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, I already uploaded the actual image. If you want to follow me on the different social medias on Facebook, you can check out my art page, The uh, Serene Chaos, The Art of Alvaro Cortez Jr. Or you can go to Instagram and look for Lance Danger. And uh, you can check Lance Danger as well on Twitter. I also have a Vero account, a Vero, Vero, I don't know how you pronounce it, and a Bubble House account as well. Um, I'll probably link those below. I don't really, I don't use them as much, so I'll probably link them below at some point. So, The Crow, that is one of the first indie comics and indie movie adaptations of a comic that I read and watched. It is one of my all-time favorite stories. And if you follow me on TikTok, um, TikTok, my TikTok is Alvaro Cortez and the number one after it, Alvaro Cortez Jr. 1. So you can follow me there as well, just for like random, you know, tidbits of stuff that I like and artwork and just, you know, overall silly stuff on TikTok. But as I mentioned on the a TikTok video, The Crow is one of my all-time favorite stories, one of my all-time favorite characters. It's just so dark and emotional. It really reaches and touches you. And again, you know, the experiences that the creator himself, James O'Barr, went through, this was basically something that helped him process experiences that he went through of loss and sense of justice or injustice as it may be and it's just such a heart-wrenching story and I love it to death <laughs> I really do I had the great pleasure of actually having James Obar sign the graphic novel which was the ultimate edition of the graphic novel, um, reprinting the entire series and along with other things as well. And we had a pretty good conversation, actually. It was at a New York Comic Con, I think it was 2017 or 2018. It was one of those. And it was just mind-blowing. I, I got his signature and on top of that I also bought a few prints of his as well uh, he is such an amazing artist as well as a writer and again The Crow is one of those definitive comics and definitive movies as well uh, the movie adapted the comic book 
pretty well, actually. And it, maybe it streamlined and cleared up some things from the comic book as well, I guess, to make it more palatable for a movie-going audience. And it was still a great experience to watch that movie. And uh, rest in peace, Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee, of course, the son of one of my biggest heroes ever, Bruce Lee, tragically died on the set of The Crow just that they were filming the last few scenes of it. It, it really makes you think what... It, it's like one of the biggest what-ifs that exist out there. Like, what if he had survived or didn't have that tragic accident and was able to keep move, doing movies and whatnot? Would he have gotten to the level of his father? Would he have stepped out of the shadow of his father? It, it's just really sad all around. And, you know, you look at the sadness of the situation that happened with Bruce Lee when he was a kid. And it's like, that family has gone through stuff, <laughs> you know. It, it's really just sad. But at the same time... It's inspiring to see that their legacy is out there and their work is out there. And, you know, nobody can take that away from them. They can't take that legacy away from them. So that's good in that way. It's helped inspire so many people, so many genres in movies and in comics. You know, and it really makes you appreciate all the little things like it says in the movie, you know, that Shannon appreciated the little things and uh, he thought they were trivial, the little things. And in life, nothing is trivial. And that is so true. And that is like the biggest, one of the big takeaways of the comic and the movie to pretty much appreciate the good things in life when you still have it. You know, kind of like to quote Andy Bernard towards the end of the final episode of The Office, you know. Sometimes you just kind of wish, you know, you were in the good old days so you won't have to, like, reminisce about it later on, you know, and not take that day for granted, those days that, you know, are the good days. So, I guess love the whole philosophical almost aspect of this story of the comic and the movie about love loss moving on and again just appreciating the small things in life which is something that especially during these times during these last few years that is something that is very important to do to just appreciate the things around you Anyway, that's going to be pretty much it for my chatter for this um, day one of in Inktober, which I am dubbing Indietober in the, for the time being. Um, on my social media, I already posted all 31 characters that I'm going to be making um, for tomorrow's video. And tomorrow's post, uh, it's going to be Puerto Rican superhero character Omega by the incredibly talented um, J.L. Aviles. I have never drawn this character before, so I'm really looking forward to that. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening to me, and I hope you all have a great day. Rock on. And to kind of steal a line from Adventure Time, the crow plates of savory licks.